Well, you know, as of this Sunday, as you see this message, many of the false teachers and people that we talk about, they're scheming and planning out their own new messages for the week. And just prepare, because it's going to get crazy and continue to be crazy as it's been. And I was going through my uh, phone and going through my notes and seeing what I'm going to talk about for this week. And I was just going through thumbnails and looking at things and just look at the ridiculous things that some of these people talk about and how so many people are so gullible and continue to fall for this mess. And just one in particular we talk about all the time, Mr. Troy Black. And I was just organizing and moving through some of his thumbnails and just moving them in a, a, into a folder. And just looking at this and just thinking, like how gullible can people be? As you begin to see some of these, I'm going to put them up on the screen now. And as you see this, this is this for a long time over the, his years here, some of the stuff that he puts up. This is what he talks about. God came to him, this, that, or that. Even after RFK had made an announcement of endorsing, boom, within hours, all of a sudden, he's got a word from God. And people are this gullible to follow this stuff. It shows you how sick the church, the, 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 how sick the church is, um, is in at the moment. It shows you that saints are just totally, totally broken, totally, I don't know what's going on to where you think that somebody that could come to you and calm and soothe you and tell you, oh, take it to the Lord. Don't despise prophecy. Don't this, that, or that. Don't, you know, just wait to hear a word from the Lord. If I'm not telling you the truth, wait for confirmation. All of these things, just so that you, they can comfort you and come at ease. Because you know what, if you get, if you tell 10 people that, and may, let's just say two do it, they actually do it and get confirmation and stay away from this guy. This guy is not of God. Then he still has got 80%. He still got eight of them left. And that's, it's a numbers game with these people. That's how they play it. It's a numbers game. They, they know that people are gullible. They know that people don't study. They know that people don't pray like they're supposed to. And they know that they can reach those that are just out there searching and seeking things. And unfortunately, this guy, as we talk about, it's a shame because he has a family. He has kids. And this is what they see of their daddy. Every day and all week, he's roaming around the house, wherever he's at, off of uh, the funds that he's fleeced off of people and lying in the name of the Lord and roaming around. And they see daddy, instead of daddy coming home with his lunch box, lunch pail, whatever, uh, uh, after a hard day's work, like most men that care about their family do. Uh, and not everyone comes home like that. Some come home in a suit, briefcase. Some are still working from home in some ways here and there, a hybrid model. But they see daddy lying, coming up with scanning newspapers and news events and trying to get ahead of it to make it look like he's heard something from the Lord. And all of these things and trying to connect with other big shots in the false ministry realm and all of that. And to do all of this and they see daddy doing this. And how a great example is a man of the head of a household. How despicable and how despicable for many of you that continue to stand by these types of people and follow them. So we'll continue to talk about them as I'm preparing some messages that's going to be very harsh, uh, very harsh because it's like, oh, my goodness. It's like um, I, as 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 it comes to me and I believe that the Lord is giving it to me. I always jot everything down in my notes, in my phone, uh, in my note uh, section. And put it there. There's so much in there and, and some stuff I, I haven't gotten to talk to about. But as he gives it to me and lays it upon my heart, because I try to pray and ask him to lead me which direction to go. And I go with it. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to take the devil head on, punch him right in between the chops, as we always do. Evangelism for God. And I forgot to give you the fist bomb. Uh, evangelism for God. Maurice Brax is my name. So until the next video. Stay clear of these people and do not let them dupe you with their niceness. I don't care how nice they seem. You know, if you've been in the body of Christ for a while, you know, based, you know, if you've been around the within the church realm for us, for you seasoned believers, 
you know this crap that you see, you know it's wrong. Stop it. And don't continue to support this kind of junk and repent before it's too late. Talk to you later.